In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a door in Horizon Worlds that can be unlocked with a key. You can use this in your games, you can use it to unlock VIP experiences, you can use it in many, many, many different ways. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Metacrafters is an XR design studio, we have been making VR AR experiences since 2018, we have won some awards, we have made many, many assets, uh, we actually delivered over 35,000 assets to the Horizon Worlds community and we are here to serve as a resource to you and help you with your building needs. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this show up in your feed. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a door that can only be unlocked with a key. So I have a door, I cannot walk through the door, I am not allowed to go inside, but if I grab a key and if I stop the key, if I stop the door with the key, well still nothing happens. That's because the lock is right here. So if I bring the key close to the lock and I try to unlock the door, this is what happens. And just like that, I can walk right through it. I am in a brand new world, let's get to work. So first I'm going to go to the build menu, let's grab a cube. I am going to make very quickly a wall, a really, really simple wall, just like this. So we have a wall, we have the other part of the wall, and I am going to make a very simple door. Just like this, this is going to be our door. Let's just take 10 seconds styling it so it looks like something resembling a wall. Oh, there we go. So this looks like a wall, this looks like a wall, and the middle part, let's make it look like some kind of a wooden door over here. What kind of textures do we have? Let's see, that looks like it could be a door texture. Good enough, close enough. Okay, we have a wall, we have a door. Now let's go ahead and now let's make a key. So it is going to be a very, very simple key in the build menu. I'm just going to grab this tube. Let's make it something like this. That looks like it could be maybe a uh, key. Let's make sure that this is somewhat aligned. I am not trying to spend too much time on the key because this tutorial is really not about designing a key but rather about scripting a key that opens the door. Um, all right, not bad, not bad. Uh, let's just style it very quickly so it looks like maybe some kind of a metal, metal key. And now that I have all of these elements, I am going to select all of them and group them into a key. Looks like it's grouped. Doesn't need to be this big. This will be about the right size for a game. That should work. So here it is. We have the door. We have the key. And we have the wall. Let's go ahead and add something here that maybe gives our players a hint that there is a lock over there. So I am going to actually use a, oops, not this, I'm just going to use this cylinder. Maybe a little bit smaller. Let's put it over here. This is just to give our players a visual cue that there is a lock over there. Um, okay, I know I'm going pretty quick, pretty fast with this. Um, but again, this is much more of a scripting tutorial, tutorial than anything else. So what do we want to do? We want to use this key 
to we want the player to grab the ski and when the player brings the ski over here and touches this area the door should open and allow us to walk through and of course as a designer as a developer of your game you can hide this key somewhere you can make it so maybe you have to earn a certain number of points to earn this key that's so many different possibilities you can do so many so many different things all right let's figure out how we're going to do this okay so the first method that comes to my mind is to simply put a trigger in this area of the lock a trigger that it responds to this key and this key only we should be able to do that, so let's go into the build menu. In the build menu under gizmos, let's grab a trigger. We have a trigger, let's go ahead and bring the trigger over here, size it so it's about the size of the lock. I am going to make it a little bit smaller, great. So we have this trigger and we want this trigger to re respond to this key and nothing else. So this is the key thing. I'm going to go to the properties of this trigger. Hiding behind the door for some reason. So in the properties of this trigger, I am going to say trigger on objects tagged, not players, but objects tagged, and only if the object is tag, tagged with the word key. So this trigger is not going to respond unless an object that is tagged with the word key is going to touch it. Okay, so obviously that means that we have to make sure that the key is tagged with the word key. So, let's do this. Let's go into the properties of the key. And here, under attributes, scroll down. You see where it says tag? Make sure that you type in key over here. And there is nothing else in my world right now that is tagged key. Only this key. Sounds good. Now, before we forget, let's go to behavior and make sure that we can actually grab this key. So right now motion is set to none. Let's change motion to interactive and grabbable so that the player can grab this key. All right, very good. Another thing that I would like to happen is I would like to have a sound effect of unlocking when that happens. So let's go into the build menu and find that sound effect. Um, I accidentally brought something here. Let's go to sounds and under effects. I bet there is an unlock sound that I can find. Let's see. Unlock. Magic. Unlock door. Okay. I'm just going to pick number two. Number two is the winner. Unlock number two. I'm going to make sure that the volume is pretty loud so you can hear it clearly in the tutorial and I'm going to set it to global again. This is just for the purposes of the tutorial and I am going to position it here. So this is where the sound uh, is located. And okay, key door lock sound we are getting very close it is time to bring the script let's go ahead and go into the build menu and in my gizmos i'm going to grab a script here is our script i am going to go into the script properties i am going to name my script unlock door because really that is what the script does unlock door wonderful great unlock door script excellent and now i want to make sure that the unlock door script is assigned to this trigger so let's go ahead to the trigger properties and here attached script let's make sure that we assign unlock door script to this trigger excellent all right now would be the best time for us to group this door we want this to not be three separate elements 
we want all of this to become one big grouped element. So I'm going to make a selection of the door, as well as the door trigger, as well as that little lock that's over there. And then move my joystick to the left to group it. And now this becomes one grouped uh, element. Wonderful. Great. Uh, now, let's go ahead and let's go into the script itself. And into the script itself, let's decide what we want to do. So, we know that when this key touches the lock, we want the entire door, we want the entire door to, well, we could make it invisible and we could make it non-collidable. But you know what I like to do? I like to send my things into a secret place that I call little depots. What I mean by it is like somewhere in the area where nobody, no player can see, in some hidden area, I like to just send things over there where they remain there temporarily uh, for the purpose of the game. So what I do usually, I would have like a for myself, I would write something like door depot because I know that this is where things are, this is where doors are going to be held when they are sent to this place. And again, this is not something that the player will ever see. This is just like my way of designing games and managing games. And I put a little cube over here. And so I know as a game designer that. I want this door to be just sent over here for time being when the door is open. And once again, this is somewhere like under the grid or somewhere far away or somewhere behind the wall that the players will never, never see. Uh, but this cube is going to be kind of the destination for the doors to end up in when uh, they are going to be unlocked and not in the visible game anymore. So. Let's go to my script. In my script, we have to create some variables. So one variable, we know we have to create one variable for the door itself. So this is the entire door object, right? So this is with the door lock, including the trigger. I call it door object, and this is an object. Great. So we have that variable. We also need the sound. Sound. Unlock, oops, unlock door. And that also is an object. Let's create a door sound unlock door object. We also need a variable for the door depot. Object. Do we need anything else? I think that's about it. That should do it. All right, so let's take a look at the script itself. And now we know, uh, let's go on the right side to events. And what you're looking for right now is, uh, let's see, when trigger is entered by object. This is what we're looking for. So when trigger is entered by object. So in other words, when this key touches the green trigger, what do we want to happen? Well, what we want to happen is we want to move the door. So let's use the variable door, the entire door object. We want to move the door object to the location of door depot. So let's go over here to values. And this is where, no, not values, I'm sorry, operators. And this is where you're going to see position of object. So we want to move the door object to position of door depot, just like this. So when the key touches the green trigger, the entire door is going to be sent over here to the door depot, just like that. 
and it's going to happen instantaneously. You will not see it fly or anything. It's just like, you know, on one frame, it just goes from here over there. And another thing that we want to happen, we want to hear the sound of the unlocking. So let's go to actions and under actions, we'll see play sound and play sound on, of course, the sound of unlock door. Pretty simple. So when trigger is entered, we hear the sound and the door is going to go to the door depot. Wonderful, great. So we created all of these variables. We wrote the script. Now we just need to assign, we have to tell the script which objects actually are linked to these variables. So to do that, uh, you actually have to, uh, this is, you have to do it pretty carefully. When you go into this object, go to the object properties and then click on this little arrow, press to zoom in to go inside of the, of the group and now you can select your trigger, go into the trigger properties, great, and this is where we have to make these connections. So let's start with the sound. You can actually click in the, if I click in the air twice, now I can make selections over here. Uh, I click on the sound, so I want the sound to be assigned to sound unlock door. Now this over here is the group, the entire door group. So this should be assigned to, to door depot, just like this. And then the, I'm sorry, not door depot, that was a mistake. This goes to door object, not door depot. Door depot should still be empty. And then we need this little door depot rectangle, cube, keep calling them rectangles, for example, cube. I have to be thinking three-dimensionally, not two-dimensionally. This is going to be assigned to door depot. All right. And if, unless I'm mistaken, this should work. Let's take a look. I am going to go into the player mode. Fingers crossed, this should work. All right, I am in the player mode. Here's the key. I grab the key. If I touch the key over here, nothing happens. If I try to walk through the door, I cannot. But if I move the key to the lock, here it is. And the door is open and I can walk right through it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this show up in your feed.